Fantastic turnout today. We had an overwhelming response from all of our university collaborators, senior staff of the university, as well as our industry partners, and we're really looking forward to working with them in the future on this amazing bit of equipment. When Brian first told me he wanted this 20 mega newton machine, now being a structural engineer, I had really no idea what what that meant. For those of you who don't know, Artemis rocket, most powerful rocket ever built. The thrust at liftoff is 39 meganewton. So we're sort of in that league in terms of power of the machine. It's the largest of its kind in the southern hemisphere and certainly one of the largest in any university in the world. We're going to be using this to test future materials, particularly concrete and steel, which are used for infrastructure. And you can see the hollow section went up to about 16 meganewtons and the composite one went a little bit above the 20 meganewton. We're fortunate at the University of Sydney that we have led the development of standards for over a century. The testing of materials and structures dates back to the foundation of the university and the university's first professor of engineering. We've got bits of equipment that are still here that have stood the test of time. They've been here for over 100 years. The way this particular machine can help, it's going to be allowing us to test much higher strength materials. The steel strength in this particular column, about three times the strength of traditional mild steel. With a threefold increase in the capacity, effectively we could use one third of the material. And so therefore, if we think of carbon emissions from a construction project, they can be significantly reduced. So these materials can last longer, and that also helps to add to the whole net zero objective. We're able to update our standards, provide safer structures for the community, and also produce structures that are much more efficient. And all of that has a public benefit. I love getting involved in projects like this because it's always at the very cutting edge. Without this sort of testing, then we're not able to build the tallest towers in, in Sydney. It's required for infrastructure, especially bridges, uh, tunnels. We see this particular bit of equipment as a vehicle to create greater partnerships between universities, but also university and industry, which we see is really important for the future of engineering and infrastructure development in Australia. We are still excited and motivated to be working with you all and to support the broader community in years to come in the field of structural engineering, as well as in other multidisciplinary areas in which we have been operating. I think it's a unique facility. I'm very happy that we're here. So thank you all for coming and looking forward to a lot of good research coming out of this. These events won't come every day, so it's a very rare thing. But such a project cannot be done by one person. It is a team effort. I take this opportunity to thank all of them.